Today, we are packing up and leaving Playa Santis back, where we've spent the last week living and working on the beach. And we have absolutely loved it. But our water tank is empty. And our gray tank is full. And our toilet is full too. And we don't really have much left to eat. There's a lot more of Baja to see. So it's time for us to pack up and leave the beach. But we thought it would be interesting to show you what our process looks like when we're packing up to leave one spot for another. So come along as we get ready to hit the road. But don't worry, by the end of this video, we're gonna be parked up at yet another beautiful beach, so make sure you stay tuned to find out where. When we're parked for a long period of time, the whole cab of the van becomes storage. Got a whole bunch of stuff, a yoga mat, chairs, the door to the bathroom, like we have so much stuff up here. So that is probably the best starting point for our cleanup efforts. Scooter, goggles, the awning, rest in peace. That all has got to go back in the trunk. It's that time again. It's kinda heavy. We had to use our reserve water. This is the last water. That is literally, that is how much water we have in the van. We probably shouldn't be cutting it this close, honestly. <laughs> like what if we get a flat tire and get stuck in the desert overnight? Well, I don't think that's gonna happen. Obligatory hand washing evidence post. That's good. I'm a human faucet. Look, I'll tell you when I'm ready for more. How, how will you tell me? I'll say it to oh, I thought there was some kind of symbol. Voice activated. I feel like I've seen ads for that. Yeah, I have. And it's like, that's literally Where you less can say, convenient. Faucet, pour me one liter of water or whatever. Yeah. Okay, give me a little water. Just pour a small. Yep. Okay, can we just stay in the center? I feel like we continue moving around. <laughs> All right, other than our regular nighttime routine, I think we've done everything that we can do this evening. We have now a fresh composting toilet, which is good, and our garbage is gone. Uh, tied it up a lot of stuff. Yeah, the cab is now going to be drivable in the morning, which is great. Important. So what we're in need of still is emptying our gray tank and getting more water. We'll have to do some stuff Obviously. in the morning. We'll catch back up with you in the morning as we continue working towards our departure here. Sounds good. stations are generally a little stinky and gross but there's some really cool cacti and there's like vultures sitting on the cacti. Honestly I'm like a little bit sad to be leaving Playa Santis back. It was a really great place and we spent a long time there. Yeah 
It was an awesome spot. And now we're back in the harsh conditions of the Mexican Highway 1. Yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful along here, though. Wow. Yeah, well, you're not the one driving. <laughs> you get to enjoy the view. I got to I know. I kind of I forgot about what driving was like because we've been parked for almost a week. There's no shoulders at all. So, yeah. Hang on tight, folks. Pretty reasonable. We've arrived at the grocery store. Time to restock. are really good by the way. <laughs> we needed the sustenance. But now we gotta put our groceries away and make an actual lunch at some point. Ooh, this comes as a pair. Yeah. That's interesting. Two types of cookies. See that's why I got it. <laughs> It's a quiet and a bit cloudy Sunday morning here in Laredo. Yeah, we haven't seen clouds in forever. I know, it hasn't really been overcast on this trip We've at all had yet. had pure sun for so long. But we're excited to be here. We're going to go explore a little bit. Just enjoying walking around a sleepy town on a Sunday morning. This is when us being on Eastern time like doesn't work out so well because there's a lot of stuff not open yet. Yeah. And it is very quiet, which is kind of nice, but it's not even 9 a.m. your time. So. In our sails. Hold on tight. I can smell the shore. It's right in front of us if we. I tried to talk to him in Spanish. You did a good job of talking to him in Spanish. Thanks. I, I'm all tied up. I can't <laughs> hold this. Phone. You hold the phone like that. Seven years now on this boat, and we all know where we belong. Look at this precious old baby. I'm sorry, I don't have any food for you. Wait for our home to show on the We've had a really lovely Sunday afternoon sitting here, walking around on the beach, uh, watching the sun go down, and I think we're going to enjoy the sunset and then find some dinner. So quiet when we were walking around this morning at like 9 or 10 a.m. It felt like a ghost town, and now 
feels like everything's kind of open and people are around. And it's, it's fun. It's a good vibe. Absolutely. There's way more people out <laughs> at 9 p.m. than 9 a.m. Well, amigos, we have departed from Laredo and we have just arrived in La Paz. We're in the big city. This is definitely the biggest town that we have been in, like, since we left Mexicali, right? Yeah. But we are here to, first of all, see what the city is like, but also restock and get ready for our next kind of... The speed bumps here go yeah. hard. And I maybe went a little fast. Get ready for our next little section of off-grid living. It's time for a resupply. Show them how full the cupboards are. Oh, oh boy. What really gets us is the bags of chips and stuff because there's so much air in them. Um, anyway. We did maybe go a little bit crazy this time. spot for night here in La Paz. It's kind of a cool view. We're in good company with like the massive tank like RVs from Germany. I don't First know of all, what is up there's with so them, many but... Germans. <laughs> we run into so many Germans. And they all drive these vehicles that look like they survived World War II. Like I don't know what to tell you. It's a very industrial like heavy duty off-road race. Yeah. But yeah. Hopefully this is a good spot for us. Oh, you've caught me cooking. <laughs> oh, hi, I didn't see you there. Oh, I'm just cooking for us. Dan is making us a lovely meal. The sun is going down, and I think we found All ourselves a good right spot. with the world. Yeah. We're very much restocked. <laughs> Our cupboards are full. We're totally stocked. Yeah, I love that van life takes us out into the landscape, into the mm -hmm. wild but it's nice to be in the city with tons of activities and tons of amenities and the ability to go to a grocery store in five minutes or less. Yeah. I feel like that's really the fun part about van life is the variety that you are able to experience. It's almost like necessary. Like we can only be off grid for so long. Mm -hmm. But also you only want to spend so long in towns or cities because eventually you kind of get sick of like trying to pretend that you're not here and like just living out of a parking spot and like always kind of closing all of your windows and all of that stuff. So it's about it's all the about... balance, exactly. the variety. So hopefully you enjoyed this little video of seeing the process behind leaving our camp spot, shaking it up, getting that variety. We can't wait to show you more of La Paz. I mean, I'm excited to see it and I've got some kind of fun, kind of nerve wracking plans lined up for the few days that we're here. So make sure you stay tuned for the next video to see what we've got going on. I can't wait to see you next week and I can't wait for some dinner. Yeah, I'm really hungry. <laughs> see you next time.